Revenge Films. A few years ago, I had this fiance. But one day, I came home and saw her with another man. That day, I came back from a business trip. The trip was supposed to be a week long, but I got to come home a day early. It took more than six hours by plane and train. I was exhausted. After arriving home, I took off my shoes and tried to hop in the shower. That's when I heard her moaning in the bedroom. I had a bad feeling. Still, I had to see it to believe it. I quietly opened the bedroom door. And there she was. She was screaming. I almost threw up. I was so disappointed. The thing is, whenever she was doing it with me... It makes me tired. But with this guy, she was sweating like an animal. I took out my phone and started filming to get some evidence. Ten minutes later... Sounded like they were finished. So I said, Good work, you two! And I barged into the room and turned on the lights. They seemed really surprised to see me, and she didn't even know when I was coming back. What an idiot! I told her that I was able to come home a day early. Then... You lied to me? You were accusing me, weren't you? Why would I? I was engaged to you. Why didn't you tell me you were coming home today then? Why should I? It's my home, isn't it? We've been going out for four years, but we didn't live together yet. Her dad was old school like that. He wouldn't allow us to live together until we got married. So she lived with her parents and I had my own place. She had a spare key so she could come and go as she pleased, but I didn't see this coming. You're unbelievable. I was out on a business trip and you cheat on me at my own house? What? Relax. You're just my fiance. You're not my husband. Seriously? I met your parents and you met mine. We got engaged. That means nothing to you? Ugh, shut up already! You know what? I never loved you. She replied, I couldn't take any more of this. I made the guy write down his contact information and sign it. Then I called his wife and made sure everything he wrote was true. Then I kicked him out of my house. Then my girlfriend and I got in a huge fight. You meant what you said? Yup. I never loved you. So why did you go out with me? Was it the money? Yeah. You're the one that asked me to marry you, remember? I didn't feel like it, but I said yes anyways. Thank you for telling me. I'm glad I didn't marry you. All right then, the marriage is off. I'll see you in court. What? It's not like we signed a contract. You can't sue me, idiot. I ran out of there and went to her parents' house. I was on good terms with her parents. It's a shame that I had to show them all the evidence. Then I told them that I was gonna sue her. Everything was happening so fast. I was panicking. I'm so sorry, dear. Alex, I'm so sorry. I'll talk to Ali. Her dad apologized to me. Like I said earlier, he was old school. He hated things like this. She was done for. Then he paid me on the spot. Please take it. It's for all the damage we caused you. I didn't know what to say. Seeing her dad like this made me sad. I grabbed the cash and walked out of there. There was more than $24,000 in there. I stayed at a motel that night. I had work the next day, but I could barely get anything done. I called the guy she was seeing at night and told him I wanted to talk. The next day, I told him that I was gonna sue him. Is there any way we can settle this with some cash? He said. Pay me in cash, then we have a deal, I said. Okay, he replied. We went to his bank together. Pay me what you think is appropriate, I said to him. He handed me $7,000. That's all he had. 
He's a teacher. $7,000? Seriously? What a loser. Then I called his company and told them everything. I never said I'd keep quiet. Since he was a teacher, trust was everything. But now, the principal at his school and the head of the PTA found out about his little mistress. Then I went home. My girlfriend was there, crying. I'm so sorry. She got on the floor and begged me for my forgiveness. For what? For cheating on you. I was so lonely. I didn't mean what I said yesterday. It was just the heat of the moment. Is that it? Are you done? Please don't leave me. I didn't want to touch her, but I grabbed her and threw her out of my house. Never show your face in front of me again. You disgust me. Then I slammed the door. She stayed there all day crying. I thought I was going to be all right. But as soon as I stopped hearing her outside my door, I started crying for some reason. I felt miserable. Then her dad called. The entire family got together and had a talk. The marriage was officially off. Oh, and she had some bruises on her face. Her dad probably beat her. And she had bags under her eyes. She was probably crying all day. One last thing. Be honest. If I didn't catch you, you were going to marry me anyways, right? But it turns out that she was actually thinking about marrying him. He told her that he was going to get a divorce soon. She was actually thinking about breaking up with me. But after the incident, the guy left her. And once she realized she was all alone, she tried to get me to take her back. How dare you? Why are you like this? Her dad snapped. He started beating her. I had no idea she felt that way. I felt so miserable. I started crying again. At work, I collapsed. I got hospitalized for a week. I went back to work after, but I ended up getting depression. A month later, I couldn't take it anymore. I knew I had to move out and get a new job. So I did. Then, at my new place, I met someone. She's actually my wife today. She worked at a small restaurant nearby. I was still depressed and out of a job, but I didn't want to stay home either, so I started eating at her place. We became friends and started talking. We became close and she started coming over. She cooked me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Delicious food makes everything better, she said. I'm so glad that I met someone like that. After going out for a year, we got married. Fast forward five years. She hasn't changed a bit. She still cooks delicious meals for me. I love her so much. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.